Hey, this is John from Comic Craft. I'm going to show you three ways to use our new Comic Craft Outbursts and Power Bursts font sets. I'm working in Adobe Illustrator, lettering over a page of Elephant Men, drawn and colored by the incomparable Axel Medlin. So first I'm just going to get the text tool here, click anywhere, type a letter A, highlight it. I'm going to set the font to CC Comic Craft Power Bursts Main. Let's make the type size a bit bigger Let's, by a factor of 10, 120. So you can see there we've got a burst. And if I highlight it, if you go letter B, letter C, letter D, as you cycle through the alphabet, you'll see there's a whole bunch of bursts. There's actually 52 different bursts in each of the outburst and power burst font families. So I'm just going to keep going until I find one that looks pretty good. That looks like it's going to work for this situation. So I'm going to move it into place. So this is the main weight. I'm going to set the fill on this to white. And then with the selection tool selecting it, copy, paste in front, command F, set the fill to black. Now I'm going to change it to power burst open. And you can see now it's got an outline on top of it. This is actually just two instances of the same letter in the different font weights. And there's a third one. Copy, paste in front again, and set it to CC Comic Craft. Power Burst Explode. And it's a double, triple outline. Set the color on this to, just set it to a solid red. And so you can see the effect that it has when you layer these three on top of each other. And if I select the red one and send it backwards, which is a command in the left bracket, and alternate that by sending forward, which is command right bracket. You can see there's all sorts of different effects you can achieve by just layering them in different orders. So if I select the black outline weight, send that to back, you can see all sorts of cool stuff is happening. And you can even grab them and offset them just a little to create those sort of like misregistered comic book effects, which are pretty cool. So here's the second way to work with them. If you just use the solid weight, create outlines, command shift O, now it's converted it into an editable object. So you can see I can grab any of the points on this burst. I can maybe redirect the tail so it's pointing a little closer to his mouth. I could bring that point in and say, you know what? Nope, this is going to be the tail right here. And then I can set a stroke on these as well. So I can set a black stroke, make it as thick or as thin as I like. I could give it round caps and joins, or stick with the square ones. So that's the second way to work with this font. Third way is to use the included EPS files. So I'll go ahead and open those up. So if I go to Power Bursts, choose the EPS folder and scroll down to find the lower queue. Click Open and then Select All, Copy and close it up and Paste. You can see it brings in the exact same shape that's in the letter Q of the Power Burst font. And again, this is an editable object. I can scale it. I can use the direct selection tool and grab those points, move them around, pull the tail out from anywhere I want to. So pretty versatile. And I'm going to show you one more instance of the outbursts. So the power bursts are all spiky bursts with tails on them. The outbursts, we've got some round bursts. See a whole bunch of those. We've got these kind of scrawly angled bursts, and then we've got 26 of these bursts with drop shadows on them. So you can use for like cover copy, ads, 50% off. Check it out. So I'm going to grab one of these round bursts just as an example. Copy that guy, paste it in here. And I'm going to scale it up. Scaling the strokes and effects, I'm just going to make it about 200% bigger. And again, the tail on this is actually a separate object. So if I want to, I can rotate the tail around, move it back into the shape. I can rotate, the tail can point from pretty much anywhere on these balloons. Or if I decide I don't even like it, I can just get the pen tool and draw a brand new tail. And then if I send it backwards, it eventually is going to merge in with the existing object. So a pretty versatile set. We've got a handy PDF guide where you can find each 
shape by the letter in the alphabet or by its uh, file name in the EPS files folder. Each set has 52 bursts with main, open, and explode weights for all kinds of layering effects. So that's our new Comic Craft Outburst and Power Burst font sets. Get them now and make some noise on your pages. <laughs>